Hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to be testing these new Better Changes inks by Culture Hustle. Um, I signed up for them a couple of months ago and I've only just arrived a few days ago and I got this little test tube holder thing for them because I didn't want them rolling around on my desk. I decided to um, put some into... Um, th these are basically tattoo ink cups just because I don't want to contaminate the actual test tube with the original color by dipping into them. So let's see how this goes. There are three tubes of colors um, that look like blue, pink, and orange, and one tube of clear stuff. So I'm just going to put these down on uh, paper and see how they react with each other. At the end of the strip, I'm watering it down a bit just to see how it waters down. I noticed that, um, you see my orange has turned green at the back there, and my water turned blue. I've changed it now. So this is how the clear one looks on top of all the colors. Then I also want to see how the colors react with each other. Um, it doesn't seem to appear on the orange. It just kind of um, dissipates into the background. And the pink is um, the pink is disappearing really quickly. The orange seems to be very dominant. It appears orange over other colors, and other colors over the orange seem to just disappear. And I'm trying to mix all three colors into a different cup just to see what colors I get. And they're all coming out orange. So, um, yeah, orange is a very strong one here. I decided to draw some overlapping circles and just see how they um, interact when you're trying to paint specific shapes. I'm trying to figure out if and how I can use them practically for actual art. So I've done two layers of blue on that top circle and this one's only going to get one. I'm going to try the same with um, other colors as well. I think I should have waited longer for that blue to dry. I'm now trying to collect the extra paint out of the pink. Now I've noticed that the pink lightens very quickly, almost in front of your eyes. So this circle at the bottom got two layers and I want to see if it um, still fades in the same way. And um, there goes that power of the orange, it's just taken over and all the other colors vanish under it. It's very strong. And um, this circle at the bottom is getting a layer of the clear stuff that I'm then going to try and paint on top of and see if that still works. Now remember how I got that patch of green on the first test page? I'm trying to replicate it. So I'm using very blue water mixed with orange and I added a touch of blue so now that green seems a little bit dark but um, yeah. And I also noticed that um, with the blue water, yeah, the pink turns purple. So yeah, trying to get that effect. But can you see it disappearing literally in front of your eyes? That, that was purple a second ago, now it's turning blue. Let's see if I can put any of those effects to actual use. I'm gonna try drawing a flower. It's a very rough flower, but I quite like the way the clear stuff basically erases the pink. So I'm going to shoot some clear veins through it and see if I can use it for um, like cherry blossoms later. You know how some of them start out almost white and then fade into a pink? So I'm going to see if, um, if I can manage to do that effect. I also decided to draw some stars with the clear stuff and then hopefully paint over it later with a blue so kind of like a blue sky with yellow stars effect which by the way can you see my waters turned blue I only used pink and orange that's very strange yeah that's definitely a really nice effect for a pink flower 
unfortunately as you can see the sky is not working out so well the colors reactivate each other and um, it all smudged so I think for a blue sky I'd have to put down the blue and then do yellow dots on top to get the um, stars I'm trying another flower this time I've put some clear stuff in the middle and some clear stripes um, that like clear veins in the middle of the flower and I'm gonna go over it with a pink hopefully you can still see the veins in white no they're bleeding as well and I was hoping the blue would turn purple which it kind of is but um, yeah two of the petals as you can see the the clear stuff just smudged by being wetted by the pink I got a really kind of tie-dye little flower there which is kind of cool gonna see how it goes after it dries you can already see the pink fading on the big flower which was so bright just moments ago yeah that's faded a lot you can see that was as bright as that tie-dye flower is and the bit where I used water has just gone completely white like no color there at all now let's figure out this water thing I'm dipping the orange pipette into clean water and it turned blue very very blue I um I noticed that I could use the water like the ink is so reactive that I can actually use whatever colors in the water to change color so I'm using blue water orange paint a tiniest bit of blue paint so it doesn't go too dark now and I've got kind of a green and um, yeah some blue water and a bit of pink paint tiny bit of blue paint look at that lovely purple and literally you can see it vanishing in front of your eyes and this is um, a few minutes later after it dried I just turned the camera off and about five minutes later when it all dried completely it's just blue okay so this is a 12 hour update and I've put a small screen in the corner so you can see just how bright the colors were when I painted them the pink seems to fade to almost nothing. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. But anyway, that's it for my test today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out another video very shortly after this where I actually draw stuff. Hopefully see you soon. Bye!